Hi Taurus, I'm Jennifer Angel, these are your stars. Now right opposite your sign in your solar seventh house, all to do with partnerships, relationships, is uh, Saturn. It's been there for some time, it's a, it's a two to three year transit when you take into account the time that it goes retrograde and comes back again. I think it's just over three years. Um, it's going to come out, it's been in a retrograde transit, it's going to come out of that transit this week on the 8th. Okay, so um, Saturn is the planet of stability, it's also caution, um, and this week it's, it does have a nice trine with Venus. Now Venus is sitting in your solar fourth house, all to do with your home, domestic situation can also bring in relationships around the home. So this is a great time to do things around the home. If you're looking for, <coughs> excuse me, if you're looking for um, to move or looking for a home and I have a Taurus friend who is at the moment and I said to her, listen, just don't stress too much about it this week. It's going to like all come together more next week. So, you know, don't worry about the things that you're trying to sort of push uphill and it's not working. So um, next next week and over the next couple of weeks and, and things around the home and to do with your relationships will start to just flow forward with a little more ease. Okay, now let's not forget um, also in your third house, which is all to do with communication and commerce and more to do with your work area. Uh, we, there's an abundance of planets in this area and uh, we've got the new moon this week um, on the 8th as well so this is like a great vibration if you're looking for work then things can start to feel a bit lighter and brighter there as well. Mars will move in at the end of this week on the 14th so that's going to just give a little more urgency on I think the Sun's there and Jupiter the, planet of luck and abundance. Okay, but Mercury is there. Mercury is the planet of communication and commerce, as I said, So, but it is retrograde at the moment. Now, that's not going to come out of that retrograde move until the 20th, the 21st. So, things will start to free up and, you know, just feel that they're moving ahead more this coming week with Saturn coming out of retrograde and um, the, with the new moon, but give it another week, okay, so if you're waiting for things to fall, fall into place, then that's really going to happen, particularly on a business level, the week after, after the, after the 24th. Now, when Mercury is retrograde, it can cause all sorts of chaos in your, in your life, and, and delays too, you know, things start to come through, and then they can stop. So, um, you know, it's, a, it's a very easy for me to say, look, just don't worry about it for a, a week or two. But, you know, life does have a, a level of urgency about it. And so, um, and, you know, you're a very responsible sign. So, of course, you automatically are going to sort of worry, uh, worry about things. But it's all going to work out, Taurus, and come together, okay? This is a bit of a, a, a tricky time, this period. And it has been over the last few weeks or so, but it's going to start to even even out, okay? Now, at the moment, you still have, for this week, Mars sitting in your solar second house. Now, when Mars is in this area, you want to be very careful about taking risks with money, okay? So, um, tune into your intuition. Uh, certainly, you know, if it doesn't feel right, then it's probably not right. And no matter what you're doing, anything to do with finances. And just you know, this is not a time to be spending on impulse items that you really don't need. And the Mars energy can sort of get you to do that, you know, a little bit. So you want to just, you know, I mean, there's the old saying, if it looks or sounds too good to be true, then it probably is. Okay, so keep that in mind. Um, all right, so all in all, this is a very progressive week. So um, have a great time. I hope everything starts to feel a little bit lighter for you this week and you, you feel like you're making some progress. I'm Jennifer Angel. Thanks for watching.